Hi. In this module, we'll be looking at how to search the database PubMed. PubMed is a leading medical database for all health practitioners. To demonstrate the search, we're going to look at the following scenario and essay question. The scenario is you've been called to a suspected cardiac arrest. As the job is close by, you arrive within 10 minutes of the patient collapsing. You're informed by the patient's family that the patient has a terminal cancer and does not wish to be resuscitated if their heart stops. The patient is unconscious, pulseless, and the ECG shows coarse ventricular fibrillation. CPR has not yet been attempted. Your essay question is to discuss the legal and medical implications of the situation and reflect your chosen management plan. Now a quick scan over this scenario in question would suggest that we need to look for things like DNR, CPR and legal. To make sure we get the best possible results, we need to expand our search terms with synonyms. In this case, we can use the term NFR or not for resuscitation as well as DNR. We don't need to add much to CPR. But we will need to add the term ethic to the legal key term as this will give us ethical issues that may appear in this scenario. Now we've got some terms and some synonyms, we're now ready to search. So make your way over to PubMed through the database's A to Z link and then click on the advanced search button. Advanced searching gives you a lot more flexibility when adding in search terms. Alright, so now to start adding in our search terms. In the first box we will add DNR or NFR. The OR will ensure that both these terms are available in the articles we locate. In the second line we'll just duck in CPR and in the final line which just comes up for us magically, we'll add ethic or legal. The asterisk will pick up all the possible suffixes for these terms, so e.g. ethics or ethical. Now we'll hit search. You'll see we have a bit over 100 results meeting our criteria, so have a look through the results to see if any immediately stick out as useful for you. 100 though is a few too many, so we need to refine these results a bit. The easiest way to do this is to refine by date. Under the publication dates heading on the left of screen, there should be a line saying five years. Check that. The screen will refresh and show you the last five years of materials. And for academic purposes, the last five years are the most current and the most useful to us. We can now see that our results have reduced from over 100 down to 19. If you take a look around the page, you'll also see on the right of screen that PubMed has picked out some articles with titles that match our search terms and has also listed out the full text articles available. So now we're going to have a look at one of the articles. I've picked the second article on the list. The title starts with patients families be, Should Patients' Families Be Involved with DNR Decisions? I've picked this one because it looks like it matches our search criteria. So have a read through the abstract. It will tell you if this is going to be useful to you. And if it is and you want to pursue the article, if you look on the right side of the screen, I've circled it, you have the links to the full text. And that is basically how you search PubMed. So the keys for searching PubMed are to use broad key terms, to use synonyms where possible, to use the suggestions on the right side of the screen, and to use the refinement tools available. If you look on the left side of the screen, you'll find an additional filters link where you can find a lot more refinement tools. Alright, good luck.